Hey guys, Pro 1701 here, and today <clears throat> we're going to talk about why it's so good to be a Doctor Who fan in 2020. Now, I know there's a few people watching who might be going, but Series 12 was awful or garbage, or don't get me wrong, I think Timeless Child or Timeless Children is garbage. That was a terrible episode for a multitude of reasons, uh, which I did a review on where my main reaction was. Um, especially how it mishandles the Cybermen yet again in the modern series, and then the retconning thing. It's awful. But Series 12 as a whole, I didn't hate. Uh, I actually thought it was pretty consistently decent up to that point. Uh, I had a, some forgettable episodes. Not bad, just forgettable, but I had some good episodes as well. I actually liked uh, the season opening, the two-parter. But even if you're not happy with where Modern Who is right now, and even I'm a bit disappointed with where it is right now, and a lot of people seem to be in the fandom, here's why it's still great to be a Doctor Who fan in 2020. is The, the franchise itself seems like it's doing really well. We have... Ooh, we have Christopher Eccleston coming back as the Ninth Doctor in the audios. Who would have thought that would ever happen? So we've still got plenty of stuff coming out from Big Finish with David Tennant, with Tom Baker, and what a big deal that was when we got Tom Baker back. Christopher Eccleston's coming next year. We still got Paul McGann stuff. We're still getting new stuff with the Eighth Doctor. So we still got all this great Big Finish stuff coming. We've got... <coughs> we have Tom Lord Victorious, the big media-spanning... Uh, Doctor Who event, which has the 8th Doctor, the ninth Doctor, and the 10th Doctor in it. And this big, massive media tie-in with comic books, big finish, all sorts of uh, novels and stuff going on. So we've got Time Lord Victoria. It's a very ambitious uh, event that they're uh, attempting to pull off, and I hope it works out. And then we have the classic series box sets. Oh, these have been a godsend. These are amazing. Uh, the artwork on them, the packaging, uh, the artwork by Lee Binding is phenomenal. We have the beautiful limited edition artwork. I import mine from the UK because who wants the American edition, which is stripped down and not as good. But so we have Classic Who getting remastered as well as, you know, Classic Who can be remastered. Uh, on Blu-ray, we have all the behind-the-scenes stuff for the Classic series. That's part of the... For me, the, there's two... Well, three main selling points. The beautiful art, the, uh, the upscaling work done to make these episodes look as good as they possibly can, sound as good as they possibly can. Uh, you know, usually each story has a special edition option with new special effects that you can watch. So if you want to watch, like, Revenge of the Cybermen... Or Legopolis with new special effects you can. And then on Sylvester McCoy's you have different versions of episodes and stories that you can watch. Uh, I really like the special edition of Curse of Fenric a lot. So we have the, the collection coming. It looks like they're going to do the whole series. Hopefully after that we'll get the modern series done in a collection format. Because <coughs> it'll be around 20 years old at that point. So that's nice that we're getting the collection. We're getting the modern series in steelbook form. The modern series steelbooks all look really good uh, with art by different artists like uh, Lee Binding and Sophie Caldry. Um, but I've been picking up those. I'm waiting on my Series 6 one to come in right now. Uh, most of the steelbooks have looked really good. I didn't really care for the Series 11 one much. Uh, but all of the others have looked really good. And I have uh, most of them over here. So we're, we're getting the, moderns, the modern series and the beautiful limited edition still books. I'm enjoying those. And then there's the animations. Who would have thought we'd be getting the animations we're getting? When you look back at how the animations were doing a few years ago, like, you know, the early animations, you know, Invasion, uh, Reign of Terror, Tenth Planet, Moonbase, <clears throat> and they didn't seem to sell that well. Is my understanding is that they didn't sell as well, especially like Reign of Terror historicals, you know, do struggle. Um, that they didn't sell as well as they had hoped to the point to where, you know, originally they were going to do the, they were going to animate the episodes for Underwater Menace is my understanding. 
And then that fell through, and they ended up just releasing Underwater Menace with its two missing episodes as recons. Bad recons, from my understanding. Everybody says it's, that release is horrible. Uh, just because they're, the animations weren't making money. So around, you know, 2014 and stuff, we, we were all like, well, we're done. No more animations. And now look at us. We're, I mean, we've gotten three animations this year, if you include... Uh, the Power of the Daleks Special Edition. Three in one year. Uh, I remember when Power of the Daleks was announced. That was insane. That we were getting six episodes of Completely Missing Story animated. And then we got Shada. We actually got a nice finished version of Shada, which is fantastic, I might add. I love Shada. One of Tom's best, in my opinion. Um, and then we got uh, Macra Terra. Macra Terror, which is really good. Terror. Terror which is really good. I actually really enjoyed the liberties they took with Macra Terra. I think that's the best animation power and post power, um, with my favorite still being Moonbase. And then, uh, I mean, this year we've had Faceless Ones, Power of the Dalek Special Edition, and Fury from the Deep all dropping in the same year. We are slowly but surely filling in these Patrick Trouton gaps, which I love Patrick's Doctor. And of his 21 stories, only seven of them are complete. Only a third of his stories are complete. So being able to add more to his catalog that I can watch, is, it's amazing. And who would have thought we would get that? So that's why whenever I hear people talk doom and gloom about how Doctor Who's dead, it's over, it's finished, I'm like, what? <laughs> Doctor Who's doing great. I mean, yeah, the modern series might not be where we want it to be right now, but as a franchise, it's doing just fine. To the point to where they're still putting all this money into it. We're still getting the Classic Who series box sets, which apparently sell out really well. Even stuff like Trial of a Time Lord, which isn't the most popular season, has sold out and goes for a lot on eBay now. You know, we're getting the steel books. We're getting steel books for the animated ones. They do limited edition steel books for the animated releases. I have Power, Macro Terra, and Faceless Ones, and I have Fury from the Deeps on order. So we're getting those limited edition steel books. Um, the, and then even here in the U.S., they've been reissuing some of the DVDs. So I actually had a chance to pick up the Invasion without having to pay an arm and a leg for it. Uh, it's trying to think of some of those. They've actually reissued several of the Region 1 DVDs. And who would have thought they would have done that? So, now is a good time to be a Doctor Who fan. Don't, don't get upset that the new series might not be where you want it to be. That Chipnall might not be what you want it to be. Or Jody just might not be what you want it to be. I mean, that's fair. Uh, just re remember that the rest of the franchise is doing fine. Classic Who is doing well. Uh, Classic Who wouldn't be enjoying the resurgence it's enjoying if it wasn't for the modern series, just like the modern series wouldn't exist if it wasn't for the classic series. So the, modern, the classic series is enjoying a, enjoying a nice little renaissance right now. Uh, and we have Time Lord Victorious to look forward to, and we have Christopher Eccleston's Ninth Doctor in audio to look forward to. So be happy, Doctor Who fans. It's, it's a great time to be a Doctor Who fan. We have so much more coming. More than likely, we're going to get a couple animations next year. Everybody figures they're going to announce it's Evil of the Daleks. We're all hoping it'll be Evil of the Daleks. Imagine what it would be like to get Evil of the Daleks. And then maybe either Abominable Snowmen or Wheel in Space. To have those back would be fantastic. Anyway, I'm Prowl1701. I am a huge Doctor Who fan. I'm happy to be a Doctor Who fan. And I absolutely love the love Doctor Who is getting right now from the BBC and from the fans. Uh... Click the like button, click the subscribe button, click that bell for notifications. Check out my main channel, Prowl1701, P-R-O-W-L-1701, and uh, check out all, it's uh, mostly Star Wars stuff I do there, lightsaber reviews, stuff like that. Check it out. Most importantly, stay safe, and thank you for watching.